Hello and good day, this is Damien from Fixwin PC and in today's video we are going to set up the Epcom uh, 4 megapixel IP POE camera with built-in microphone and all that good stuff. Model number XE42M Gen 3 B. The version you're seeing is not the B, it is the actually the LA, but that's okay because they're both very similar. What you are going to notice with these newer Gen 3 Epcoms is that the SADP tool no longer detects them. However, you have to go on their website or use the tool sent with their CD player, if you still have one on your laptop, that is, or your desktop, to actually install the software that's going to help you find it. The name of the software is IP Tools. Now, moving on, let's go get that installed. I already have it installed on my device. It's a pretty straightforward install. Once you either download it or you insert the CD, it's pretty much a next, 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 next. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Install what they require you to restore because every component is necessary. And you will come to the screen where you will just have this icon here, IP Tools, IP Tool 2.0. Double click on it. Give it a minute, it will detect the camera just like the SADP tool would. And there you have, see it selected the camera right there. You see the camera already has an IP address. So by default, I guess this comes with DHCP. And you see a bunch of other port information and other things that could be quite useful. So you select it and you can see here is where you can make changes to the IP address to suit your immediate network. Here is also where you can default the IP camera if you know the password because when you put in the MAC address, then it's going to require you to put the password in and hit OK. All right. The other way is to do it by logging in directly to the device. Now, speaking of which, to log into the device, all you have to do is take the IP address area here, double click on it. It should open the web browser. The web browser will take you to the login page. Now, at this login page, we just a uh, checkbox, select already read, and now According to the documentation that comes with the camera, the default username and password is admin and 123456 is the password. And hit login. Now it's going to ask you to enable some security questions. Let me just run through this real quick. All right, once you do that, you'll be able to log in. It says change your password. We can change that later because it's actually a very weak password. So once you logged in, first thing you want to do is change that password. So we we'll go to config and we're going to go to user, security, user. We'll open that interface and you see admin, you select the admin, you select modify. Now you put in the old password. Oh, first you check new password and it'll allow you to put in the old password. All right, and then you put in your new password make it strong all right give the user well this is the admin user if you make it another user you can give it a privilege you know but this is the admin user make sure all these things are selected so select all so you don't locked out of anything hit ok and that will modify the password it will log you back out and all you do is take that new password and log back in Now, once you log back in, go back into the config. I just want to highlight a few things. All right, so for the system, if you click on these higher level, uh, got to put it titles. It takes you to the side and gives you some information about each one, and what they represent. All right, and then you can get into basic information. It'll give you the device model number. Is a privacy statement QR code. Don't worry, it's not all of that. It gives you other, you know, version information, Epcom software version, all of that good stuff. And you could go to back to system and see date and time. Here's where you configure the date and time. Very important step. So you come here, you change the date and time to whichever uh, a, uh, time zone you are in. So I would change mine to time zone in Georgetown here. It's closest to me. And that should be excellent. I, we do not use daylight saving times in Trinidad. So I can just hit save. 
it will save the time will be changed to that time zone all right now you can go to date and time and you can synchronize with the ntp server leave that checked or you can set manually or you can synchronize with the computer time now if your computer is carrying the correct time i would suggest select this and hit save that way you're sure it's going to carry the same time as your computer hit ok and now you can leave this section now any other information that you might want to change as needed usually would be the network information so you click network give you a rundown of what each one would do for you for instance the tcp ip is where you go now this is set to dhcp right so you can either be like all right i accept this address or if you want to change it you select use the fallen ip address and you would have to, the ability to change the ip address here so we're going to keep it at dhcp for now with regards to maintenance let's go in here so let's back up and restore reboot upgrade and operational log so the backup the backup and restore function you can either import some settings you can import the configuration that you've saved or you can default the device now be careful it says keep right here so what that means is do you want to keep the network configuration do you want to keep the security configuration which is your passwords and all that and do you want to keep the image configuration which would be the settings for the actual video so you can select which ones you want to keep when you default say for instance you just want to default the password you would keep the network config and the image config and you just get rid of that and when you load default all that would happen is that the password would be defaulted to its original one two three four five six if you want to default the ip address and all that you just select what you don't need all right now on the reboot you can actually do a reboot now that will take one to five minutes or you could do a time reboot and select with a daily at as it said here at 307 it will reboot daily at 307 p.m because it's military time here so the event so it has a smart detection left lost or moved items so you can go object abandon so if you enable this right, you enable an abandoned object detection or enable missing object the difference between these two is abandoned object is something that is introduced into the region of interest and left there past a, a, a particular period of time that would be considered the object to be abandoned now if you select missing object would mean that an object that was in that frame moved out of frame for a certain amount of time so you can see where this could be useful if you want to keep your eye on certain like you have a piece of equipment and you know it's not supposed to be moving without your knowledge if somebody should move it and not put it back within the allotted time then you would get uh, an alert on your phone uh, an email saying this object has been moved and should probably look into it let's go to security management so enable locking once illegal login function this is what prevents a brute force attack i wouldn't say prevents but it staves it off so if somebody tries to log in and they get five bad attempts it locks up the device for a specific amount of time this time is set to five minutes and you can trigger an email to let you know hey someone tried five times to log in probably take a look at the security see if you can still log in because sometimes in that five tries they may have succeeded uh, if you set a strong password most likely not all right uh, coming down to the password security you can set a password level to be strong so that means the device will only accept strong passwords and the expiration time should be never so this could cause you to change your password every 30 days every 60 days every uh, 180 days or every 365 days you know but if we set a password we don't really want to change it but this is good for those password policies so you can change your password every 30 days this is a nice feature and i wish all uh, DVRs and NVRs had this feature right authentication usual basic or token so now you can add token authentication onto these more security all right so Epcom has done a really good job with this camera 
Once again, this is Damien from Fiction PC, and I hope you learned something and do enjoy your day. And see you in the next one.